All right, so in Group E, Belgium has officially qualified for the World Cup. 19.6 wins and a draw. No losses. 24 goals, 5 against. Brilliant stuff by Roberto Martinez, Kevin De Bruyne, the Hazard brothers, Lukaku, Benteke, and company. Not Vincent Company, but and Co. Vertonghen, Alderweireld, Denayer, you know what I mean? And these guys there. Castagna, Mounier, Yannick Carrasco. I'm name dropping, but the Belgium team is star-studded and they deserve to qualify. I, I didn't have any doubts. Didn't have any doubts at all of them making it to the World Cup as last time around. They did manage to come in third. It would have been nice if they won the World Cup. But Belgium, man, I don't know if they're going to win anything on the Roberto Martinez at all. So, Belgium officially qualify for the World Cup. And uh, they did so with a big win. Big win. Not, not the most convincing win, but still a big win. 3-1 against Estonia. Big in the context of the fact that they qualified. And they put out a strong team against Estonia these guys are not messing around managers are not messing around you don't want to be that team that lose to estonia and put your direct qualification in in jeopardy and have to go through to the playoffs to get you know upset by one of these weaker teams all right so in this game christian benteke in the 11th minute goalkeeping error tap in did get a lot of chance hit the post i could remember i tuned into this game a little bit but tuned out Yannick Carrasco in the 53rd minute. Eric Soga bagged one for Estonia. And Togan Hazard in the 74th minute to give the Belgians a win. Easy win. They, they were always expected to win that game. And Belgium, the Red Devils, have officially qualified for the World Cup. World Cup Brazil, Euro 16, World Cup Russia. Euro 2020 and Qatar. So they have qualified for the last five international tournaments on the bounce. You can see Kevin De Bruyne, Lukaku, Leander Dendonka. You got Castagna, Hazard. You got the boy, um, who else? Van Aken there, Axel Witzel, Yuri Tillemans, Dedrick Boyata, Togad Hazard. Oh man, Leandro Chossard, Mounier. A lot of magic in the team, man. Alda Warreld, Carrasco, Vertonghen, not to forget Thibaut Courtois, and the manager in charge, Roberto Martinez, and the French players. A lot of really good talent coming through. Jeremy Doku comes to mind. You see what I'm saying? Charles De Ketelea comes to mind. They, they got some good players coming through, and um, they, they're always going to be a threat, but got to win something man you got to win something you got to win something with this golden generation of players got to win something and stop bullying these little teams win something that's my message to the belgian national team win something okay not convinced still not convinced <laughs> not convinced at all so what happened in the other games in group e here guys so Wales, Wales have officially clinched the place into the playoffs, guys, into the playoffs. Let's go back. Let's just go back really quick and get the groups up here again. Wales have gone up to 14 points with a resounding 5-1 win against Belarus, where I did predict Wales to draw the game, but they proved me wrong and they went ahead and won five goals to one. That was Garrett Bale's 100 appearance for Wales. So congratulations to Bale. Wales is Bale. All right. He's the talisman. But Aaron Ramsey in the second minute. Nico Williams, a Liverpool right back in the 20th minute. Ramsey again from the penalty spot in the 50th. Ben Davies in the 77th. And Constevoy back the consolation goal in the 87th minute. And Connor Roberts in the 89th. Dominant performance by Wales, 18 shots and goals, 7 on target compared to 6 at goal for Belarus, 2 on target. They only had 33% of the ball. Quality stuff by the Welsh national team. They last made it to the World Cup back in 1958 and they had to do so because, you know, I think a few teams dropped out 
of the the the, the thing i think uh and they have to they had to end up playing against israel in the playoffs if i'm not mistaken and they won the playoffs and they ended up qualifying for their world cup back in 1958 have not been back since so that's a great story i think i covered this back in 2018 i might do that again for 2022 so congratulations to wales there quality stuff the czech republic would also make the cut to the playoffs via the nations league if you don't know now you know they would be in the playoffs as well so it would be belgium qualifying directly wales through the playoffs or even if wales do not make it to the playoffs via the group they do make it to the playoffs via the nations league so anywhere you put it wales or the czech republic wherever they finish in the group regardless to if wales lose their last game there and czech republic win and they surpass wales on goal difference wales would uh, go through to the playoffs and the czech republic would do the same wales do play belgium and for the czech republic their next game coming up there they play against let me let you know that um their next game is against estonia so most likely the czech republic will go up in second and wales will take the third spot but wales would still get the the nations league spot along with austria who you know it's confirmed it will be either wales the czech republic or austria for those two spots and i think it's going to be wales and austria for the nations league spots and the czech republic for that direct well for that second place spot via the group stage not direct don't use the word direct direct only you know has to do with the teams qualifying directly for the world cup so congratulations to belgium it's expected that belgium and france would have qualified so no need really going on and on and on about these two teams making it like it's not a big deal right these teams supposed to qualify so those are the last two fixtures in the group those will come up next tuesday to wrap up the european qualifiers group stage and then we have a playoff round coming up